Attack all. Create a land. Trigger the retreat. Put a plus one counter. Boom. It's a lot of damage. Welcome back. I'm Dr. Ruckus, and today in Ranked Mythic Standard, we are playing Selesnia Landfall, built around Felidar Retreat, a new card or a reprinted card in Foundations, a four mana enchantment with Landfall. Whenever a land you control enters, choose one. Create a 2 2 cat beast token, or put a plus one plus one counter on each creature control, and those creatures all get vigilance until end of turn. It's really good. Originally, I was trying to build more of like a landfall centered deck with a lot of, uh, you know, uh, land under the battlefield triggers. Um, I was looking to build around the free strider lookout, kind of thinking about the gates deck I built a couple days ago, maybe throw some tortoise in there. I really want to play more of this locked hothouse card, but it's hard to justify putting it in there. Maybe some doublings, excuse me, maybe some Lumra. I looked at all that stuff, and honestly, I don't think that's the best way to build it. I think you just want to shove it in the already pretty solid mono white-esque uh, tokens deck because all these cat beasts are in fact tokens as well so you get all those synergies we can pair it with the uh, uh, caretaker's talent so you can draw cards off of it easily you can do it both on your turn when you play a land or on your opponent's turn as well if you've sacked the fabled passage on your opponent's turn we get a lot of sweepers like sunfall and split up which is really critical if you're going to tap out on turn four to do nothing you better have a whole bunch of sweepers surrounding it to try to survive that far we got a lot of draw engines in the deck also beyond the talent including the beanstalk into four copies of the the five mana overlord four copies of the five mana sunfall and a five mana virtue of loyalty a lot of draw power there two copies of innocence i think the other two copies need to go for split up like i said you do want a lot of sweepers if you're going to take a turn off to do nothing and then try to take over the game from there the only card I'd really cut is the authority of the consoles. I don't know why. I just thought I'd try it out today. Every once in a while, I read your... I mean, I always read your comments. But every once in a while, I see a comment, and it's like, this card's so good. It, it's great against mono red. And I read it, I'm like, it can't be. It's just not, right? Because, um, you know, the thing that kills you is not the two-mana 2-2 two, two haste. It's the 7-7 seven, seven double strike that's been suited up for a turn or two. So I didn't think it was that good. I didn't think it was that good that, that good today. I think I'd cut it for sure. And I just put another removal spell in, like Parting Gust or something like that. Even though, you know, we're running some mixed lands here. I think uh, you can get away with a double white for sure. I had a lot of fun. Enjoy the gameplay. Let's dive right in. On the draw, <laughs> it's almost keepable, right? You get to ramp right into Sunfall. If everything goes right, and if you stumble, you just lose by a lot. But we have the surveil land on one. It's like too much to ask, right? We can't do this. Okay, this is far more balanced. We like the land. We like a two drop. Um, maybe the overlord goes back actually. Keep everything else. It's green. Wow. Okay, let's surveil. I feel like the pair with the innocence could be nice. Seed of hope. Oh no, it's crabs. I feel like that's gonna be pretty tough for us. I think they don't run counter spells though. How's that next land looking? Turn to virtue. Turn three, I don't think we need the, I mean, we're going to have the ramp off the Overlord anyway. I think we want more gas. Beanstalk, opponent is off to the races here. Not missing a beat. Okay. We will just kind of dirtle along a little bit. Uh, Switch to our basic land, reel it. Okay, they're just stacking up sorceries. Might not have a whole lot else to do, though. I might bounce this token. That's okay. But I'm acting like they're going to counter it. I don't think there's any room for counter spells in that deck. They definitely bounce the token, though. Get Lost is um, actually pretty good against the Beanstalk at some point. Or we could just spend the turn ramping. It's also good against the Storm Chaser's talent. I mean, not going to Beans yet. I think ramping might be the best thing we can do here. Something like Virtue Loyalty at some point might be good. Um, they might, uh, they might, uh, fish bounce it into the Flood Maw. I still don't think they have space for counters. Oh, they do. I don't think people usually play that. Counter target creature or enchantment. Enchantment it's two target creatures or enchantments you own to your, to your hand. That's very flexible. Wow. That just seems like a really good card. Okay, Sunfall might be useful eventually. I think they're getting close to the crab turn. We might just pick off, um, might just take out the Beanstalk. Well, we still can. I think it's happening now. Ends up being a huge problem later. You have another counter? A three mana counter? No. You bounced my token. That's fine. I didn't care about that card anyway. Alright, Beanstalk down. Um, Because what? It's seven mana minus three. Yeah, so we're glad we did that early. Map token up. Get a land. Okay. Map token up. Seed of Hope. Alright. I think we're just sweeping you. 
Especially since we know they run some kind of counters. And we don't really have a creature to pair with um, Innocence anyway. So let's just take uh, Untapped Creatures. Get it some. Our land is okay. Slaying Virtue of Loyalty is like only so useful. But if we're going to wait for them to burn a counter, I guess they probably just want to crab here, right? And then tap the Innocence down and attack. Alright, well, let's try this. We can hold up and get lost. Another get out. Seems like a good counter spell. I've never seen that played. There's the crab. We will take you. Goodbye. Tapped out. I don't think we're in an awful position. And if the counter spells only do creatures or enchantments, Sunfall we will resolve. That's a card. We've nothing to copy yet. But I guess we go for it because, uh, can Sunfall next turn make a token? Nothing to copy. I guess, yeah, we never resolved the, um, never resolved the Overlord. Otherwise, we can copy that, which would be sweet. Crab part two. The question is can they counter the Sunfall? And I'm thinking no. Even though they've shown us two counter spells in the form of Get Out. Um, so if they slam another Terror, that'd be great here. But if they keep crabbing, it's not so good. Basic land. Sure. Map token up. That's fine. Been that. Map token again. Ooh, that's too bad. Not what I wanted to see on top. I think we're still sweeping to get the draw. That's really not ideal. We don't have time for this. And uh, we don't even know if they have another crab in hand. It's gotta be this. But we're running a little bit out of time here. They bounce the draw engine. We get a tapped fish. The tapped fish is a token, so we get the draw anyway. That's funny, but not really helpful. So basically one enough mana to, to power up the 2-2 two -two to block this turn is one of the biggest things we want to do. It means we only have four mana to play with. So it's probably this card, which is super random and weird. Let's see if they flash on the crab now, just to not give us the extra life. I don't know if this card makes it standard. I, I see a lot of comments that are like, this card's so good, it's great against mono red. I'm like, I don't know, the thing that kills me from mono red generally isn't the haste creature. It's, uh, it's the 7-7 seven, seven double strike that's had a turn to set up. Okay, I think we need to power up the 2-2 to block. And we'll rely on the Beanstalk to find another token somewhere. Okay. Might bounce this thing. Who knows? Let's try. Nope, oh, we get to declare the block. I'm okay with this. Only one card. The creature land's interesting. It does put on pressure. Carrot cake is good. Very good, actually. We begin here for sure. Opponent thinking hard here. Do you have another counter spell? Or they could flood maw our enchantment again, is maybe what they're thinking. They give us a single draw. We can just recast it though. I think it's gotta be another flood maw in hand. Numerous beanstalks are not awful. I think I'm gonna keep that. We'll go ahead and Beanstalk up, and we'll sack the Carrot Cake on their turn to get that next draw. I mean, we're the one with all the draw engines right now. Sunfall's great. Okay, very good. And here, we'll do the Carrot Cake on their turn. Sunfall won't kill the, the Vine Stalk, but I think we're in a really solid, solid position here. One more land would be huge, because then we could Beanstalk and Sunfall both next turn. They fight. Sure. Don't know if... No, we're going to have any mana to stop that anyway. Okay, 5-5 five, five with Trample. It's a fast land. It doesn't really do what we want it to do. We want that untapped land next, if we can get it. Last card in hand, they're going to bounce our blocker. Yeah, it was the Flood Maw. And they still have the creature land, so this is tough. Drop to 7. We hit the land though, so we can Carrot Cake and Sunfall. Get Sunfall first. Yeah, I think that's where we're at. Ooh, 
the treats the treats good actually already get that draw I think we'll still carrot cake up here could just make the one one it has trample though so it's gonna hurt either way we should be good on making tokens in general from here on out the land I don't think we need you right now so we really need an answer to the creature land that's kind of our biggest threat right now and it is quite the threat How bad is going to two? We can make a lot of blockers this coming turn. Kind of? I guess our blocks get better. Drops a two, I don't love that. So I think we can retreat, land, draw some cards. Start there. Nope, that doesn't do it. Let me sack the care kick, draw a card on their turn. Do we need to beanstalk right now? No, we can power up the one one two as well block with everything. It's a little bit stronger to actually make a copy now. It's going to be a bit bigger. There's no stick at all. No attacks. Hold on. They definitely could have more bounce spells here. Could bounce numerous things. Could win this turn. It's totally possible. That is annoying. They get back, what, a bounce spell? We get a life, though. And it comes intact. <laughs> And we have the Fabled Passage next turn. So we create a thing, attack with a lot of things, give him Vigilance. Who's down here? Just into the Flood Mall? Yeah? Who are you, you going to bounce? You don't have enough mana to uh, do the Creature Land yet. Alright. Give me my life. That's great. Answers the Creature Land. That's huge. I think we're almost out of this now. That's also kind of freaking huge here. Yeah, I think we basically got him this turn, almost. Let's start with some Fabled Passages, I think. Each creature you control. Well, I guess we might as well start here then. Yeah, it's fine. Create a um, land. Passage. Hopefully there's some basics in there. Let's put some plus one counters. And Vigilance. Alright, yeah, there aren't too many basics, but we'll take the ones we got. Okay, I think that's about game. We have four mana left. Let's see, they take out you. They take eight, 19, 11, 12, 18, 14. We're one short, I think, actually. That's fine. I'm not in any rush. Should be able to sniff out game here. Next turn. Five, we'll beanstalk because we can and hold up and get lost for the creature line or anything else but they shouldn't really be able to get out of this unless they have like season of weaving and bounce everything back to our hands and then i mean that'd be annoying we still might win but that would definitely be a interesting turn of events yeah i think we got him here i don't think they can get out of this good game good game on well, the draw looks pretty good here we can passage into green hmm okay All right, it's gonna be a battle. So how do we win this? We definitely got some good over the top stuff. I mean, the Felidar Retreat could put in a lot of work. But for now, we're just doing on the draw things. It's gonna be good, I think. I mean, they might have to burn and get lost on it. This will be an interesting matchup. All right, uh, I guess no blocks. I think we caretaker's talent instead. I mean, we would like to sunfall soon. So yeah, let's go this route instead. Let's go the enchantment route. No attacks. We want to sunfall their innocence away if we can. Get lost our first draw engine. That's okay. We're still setting up here. OK, 
Okay, I no longer think we need this creature. I think we can trade it off here. We do need more land. That's a land. We really are just trying to set up for Sunfall, though. We don't need to burn the... We could just hold Get Lost, I guess, and do nothing else. Uh, the next land is okay, but I think we'll kind of get more as we go. I think that's it here. To play any more creatures, that's fantastic. We'll see how this goes. Like a Beza could be nice. Okay. That's all just fine. Sure. Kind of a waste. Of, we've seen one season of Burrow and one get lost already. That's really not that bad for us. I think we're just eating this. Um, we'll save the carrot cake for later. To 14 is my move. It's the first sunfall of the game. Alright, we start over. Miss Moors, sure. This kind of demands another sweeper. I think we're basically just trying to dig towards that. I think it's Innocence plus, like, Carrot Cake. Get a draw. I don't think the retreat alone is enough yet. At some point it'll be nice, but I don't think now's the right time. Not right now. I think we're looking for a split up or a um, Sunfall or something. Could map token somewhere. Makes this guy better blocker. Okay. Exiled. Up to 20, though. Um, Do we need any of these creatures? Not right now. We'll take the trade. To 16. Opponent with two cards in hand. That's actually okay here. We can take out the tapped creatures. I'm fine with that for now. We can go retreat and then land first. Then we need to do this now. There's only one basic left. Alright. Well, that's that. We'll make another beast. And then we'll take out the tapped creatures. Alright, flyer's gone. We got Felidar Retreat on the board. And plenty of land in hand. And nobody has a draw engine out yet. But we'll have more of them in our deck than theirs. Because we have four beanstalks. Uh, in addition to all the usual ones. Okay. Let's start here. Cool. Let's keep that on top. I think we put counters on. Because they might sunfall soonish anyway. Let's put on the pressure while we can. Then we just chill and end here. Yep, there's a sunfall. Sure. We got a nice reload coming. Oh, baby. Okay. We might have to just answer that with get lost. And then we sunfall this turn. I think that's what's happening here. We zap you. We'd have to play the next land to play the next retreat. Do we want to hold the land until next turn just to get the double triggers, I guess? Or we could play it on, play it out now to get one of the triggers. Alright, I mean, we could make a bigger, like, Sunfall thing, but I think let's just do this. Let's make a 2-2. Play off the next retreat. Alright, it's a top deck war. Here comes the 3-3, three, three. are they attacking? I guess so. Map token up, makes sense. Removal spell. Oh, they've been in. They want the draw engine. Map token again. Aggressive. Sunfall. You keep that? No, they're really going for it. Uh, yeah, no block. Swing for five. Okay. Now what? Well, it does something. Let's make a two-two. I think we'll just make two-twos for a while.
Beza. Okay. At least I don't draw. I think we'll take five. I mean, our blocks get better and better as these things get bigger. Well, now we're definitely blocking this turn. But at least we have the ability to draw. Like, this is not bad at all. We have a engine online. That was a good top deck. That's not bad for them. One to the bottom. One to the bottom again. So our blocks really do get better if, um, if we get a single land here. So I think we just take this, take four. Down to two, it's not ideal, up to four. Okay, it is a land. I think the other one's gonna go on the stack next, right? Should we make another cat first? The three threes are really good, I think. Um, that's also really nice. That's huge, actually. We can attack with Vigilance kind of safely as well. It's a sweet attack. Block. Block. They jump all these things? Oh, wow. Oh, that's huge. Plus, we get the Carrot Cake. We can sack it on their turn to trigger the Innocence. That was a huge sequence for us. Yeah, I mean, it does all the things we want, yeah. Okay, end here. That's a card. Okay, let's go. Game's not over. They copy the 5-5, uh, five, five, comes in a 0-0, zero, zero, but they do get the draw. Can't stop that. We're pretty close to putting on lethal pressure. Wouldn't take too much to get there. That's fine, doesn't have trample. Alright, sack you. It's fine. It draws his cards. We'll keep it. So we could chump or we could just take this thing out. We're very close to just swinging for lethal in the crackback, right? They block here. If we hit land off the top, uh, we kind of just win, I think. So let's take a single jump. Plus we have the creature land. So I think we could just get there this turn. Alright, let's take a draw. Land. I think that's it, right? So we get in for... Yeah, 16. Yeah, yeah, we keep that on top. Draw up. They land. We can just go tall at this point. Bop, bop. And we don't even need the creature land to get there. Yeah, let's go. Selesnia, Felidar Retreat, coming in hot. On the play, we definitely keep this. We got some different routes. We'll need to hit some more land. It's going to be okay. It's mono red again. We hit the next land, which is nice. I think we try to flash in a loyalty here. We don't need to scry to anything just yet. It's not often the loyalty gets a pick, but if they go 2 mana 2-2 two, two haste. Like that. Then it's a pretty good pick by us. Okay. I guess we eat you. Not bad. Now what? Beanstalk or cake? I mean, we kind of just want to be able to sunfall for the most part. Let me start with the beanstalk here. Hold on. We probably don't need green. Yeah, that's okay. All right, get it with Vigilance. We're close to a Sunfall. We'll probably just block here. Absorb some damage. You know, throw their Tantrum, Rage. And then next turn, either Carrot Cake or Innocence and block. Swiss Spear just wide open. And a Scavenger. Nice. Guess the question is, do they blow the Shard Mage's Rescue? Or do they hold it for a removal spell? They do nothing. So Carrot Cake makes a blocker. And during Innocence, we block easily, and then we Sunfall next turn anyway. We actually don't have that next land, do we? So we kind of need the next land, which means we need the, uh, we need the Scry. Okay. 
Okay, there's a land. So now we're good. So now we'll just eat this carrot cake. And don't need to attack. And hopefully we live from 17. But you never know. I think with the three life off the carrot cake, we could be okay here. Again, they think, do I flash in the Shard Mage's Rescue? Should I get the counters? He's got two mana open. We don't do it. It's okay. All right, that is kind of perfect for us. We know their entire, you know, field. That's hopefully the last creature in their deck that they're going to draw for a little while. Double strike there. They've already played land for turn. So they're completely out of gas. We don't even have to burn the carrot cake if we don't want to. I think we'll just block with these guys. Take one point of damage, then Sunfall. It's fine. We'll save the carrot cake. Um, just create a little blocker later. Cool. Easy Sunfall Beanstalk. So next turn, we could retreat and land. It does come in tapped, though. No, there is no next turn. The game is over, as it should be. On the play, looks good. Keep this. Tap land. It's Boros again. I think you just kill that now. Try to get to Sunfall on turn four, which could be quite good. Okay, what else you got? Scavenge. Land. Ramp. You better kill us this turn. Otherwise, we are coming. Nope. That doesn't look like it. Manual taps on red. Get that map token going. Creature on top. You might want that after the sweeper. It's coming. Six to the face, down to 14. Another Sunfall is not so bad. All right. Sunfall one. Here comes creature part two. Map token up. Just a land. Ethereal armor on top. Are you keeping it? Hit for three. Hold open white. Plot you. Okay. I think it's just Sunfall again here. Don't need more land. Zap, zap. Hauntwood's coming online soon. That looks pretty good to me. Let's make some beastie boys. I think I'll take the scry. That's pretty good too. Sure. Alright. I'm feeling like that's about game here. I think we just, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Should be able to power you up. Attack all, trigger the Veladar retreat, put plus one counters, then Virtue of Loyalty and untap them all on the way back. Attack all, create a land, trigger the retreat, put a plus one counter. Boom, it's a lot of damage. It's fact lethal. We don't even need Virtue of Loyalty on the way back. All right, Mono Red. F off. Good game. All right, thank you for staying to the end. If you want to support the channel, just drop a like, leave a subscribe, a comment. All this stuff really helps out with the algorithm and keeps the channel moving forward. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.